everybody, Glenn here, and today we're going to look at the Z box. This is the Super Heroines box from February. Z box has been an interesting ride the past few months. It's been a very up and down box. Uh, last month's um, Mystical box was kind of a letdown. It had a lot of items and a pretty good value, but it was just kind of a mad box. Um, the box before that, which was uh, Dark versus Light, I thought was excellent. So we're going to see if uh, which path they took with Super Heroines. I was actually very excited about this um, because I love the female superheroes. It's just kind of a thing of mine. Obviously, you know that uh, I'm big on the bombshells right now. I'm hoping there's some bombshell stuff in here. Um, the one thing I noticed has been pretty consistent with Z-Box lately is the fact that their boxes come in kind of banged up. Um, that one, this one's not as bad, but pretty consistent theme. Um, and I think partly it's because they come in from overseas. So there's a customs declaration on there. Um, Z-Box is only $23 with free shipping in the U.S. So you really cannot beat the price. So even when they have a down box, in my opinion, the value is almost always there. Um, so uh, it, it just doesn't make sense not to subscribe to Z-Box because when they have a good box, they hit it out of the park. And when they have a quote-unquote bad box, you're still getting 20, easily $23 in value from the box. So um, I know a lot of people get disappointed with Z-Box sometimes, but you can't beat that price point. Anyway, so let's dig in, see what we got. Okay, as I hoped, we do have some bombshell stuff. Uh, it looks kind of kind of like a, a, a bit of a lean box, a little bit light as far as number of items. I forget how many items were last month, but I think it was about six. This looks to just be a straight four item box, so let's jump into it here. Our first bombshells item is a pennant. I've actually seen these when I've been on Entertainment Earth. It'd be nice if I could open it up. There's no real scene to do that. Okie dokie, this one is Catwoman. Bam, there you go. Now what I like about these is these make nice displays. So this would be nice on a wall. It's uh, it's not flimsy, it's actually a, a pretty good quality, which actually is a bit surprising for me. Um, it's a nice cloth, good design, love the Catwoman bombshells. It's big too, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be as well. So Catwoman, uh, Pennant, pretty nice start. All right, we've got a shirt. And this is, looks like Wonder Woman. Black shirt, Wonder Woman design. There she is. That is pretty cool. Now this is one of those shirts that's not licensed. It's got Wonder Woman on it, but it's not explicitly Wonder Woman, but you know who it is. Unlicensed shirt, again, they. They can get these for a lot cheaper than trying to uh, go through the licensing route. Uh, let's see. So we've got a tank, army guys, and Wonder Woman facing them down. This actually reminds me a little bit of the very cool Flash shirt that I have. Um, also an unlicensed shirt. But um, I, th I think I got it from the old-time uh, uh, Hero Crate. But this this one is really cool. I like it a lot. Um you know, she's got her sword and her lasso, World War II looking theme, or maybe even World War I uh, theme. Looks like World War II. Um, very cool design. Uh, a little minimal. It's got just a couple of colors. It's basically a two-color shirt, um, but looks very cool. So I like this one a lot. Good job on the shirt. All right. I was hoping to get another one of these in a box. It is the... DC Comics Little Bombshells. As you guys might recall, got one of these in the, the Nerd Block, the, what was it, Comic Block? 
and it, it was Harley and she came broken. Well, fortunately, Nerblock sent me another one, so I've got her. And that was a, a an exclusive to... Um, that was an exclusive to Nerdblock. This is supposedly an exclusive to Z-Box. So let's open her up. See which one I got. All right, we got Wonder Woman. And there she is, our Wonder Woman little bombshells. I love these figures so much. Um, I can't bring myself to pay for them <laughs> uh, individually. They're about 15 bucks a piece a lot of the time. Now what I will say is there is no way this is an exclusive. This is the regular uh, four color version of Wonder Woman. Um, this is not a Z-Box exclusive. They've got a couple of mystery ones but this is, there's no way this is it. This is the, the straight, very first figure, Wonder Woman. So I'm interested to research this and see why they're calling this a Z-Box exclusive. But it's cool anyway. I love these figures, didn't have this one. Um, love the little bombshells. So it's hard for me to complain about it, but we're talking about a regular one, which is goes for about 10 bucks versus an exclusive, which would be a lot more. So. There's the Wonder Woman little bombshells. And the last item is a comic. All right. This is the Mighty Captain Marvel, number one. This is a variant cover, black and white. I've seen this color cover before. The color cover, um, I forget who it's by, but I'll research it and come back. The color cover, as I recall, is only a 1 in 25. So... There's only 25 of those. This is the black and white variant of that. Obviously, this is not one of 25 because it's in all the boxes. So it's however many boxes they, they put out plus whatever else they got out there. But it's very cool, variant cover. Um, you know, obviously it's a $4 cover price, but probably worth a little bit more because it's probably a little bit more limited than the, uh, than the regular cover. All right, so that's it. Only four items. Here is our book. And it reproduces the t-shirt on the back. Super heroines. See what Z-Box has for us in the book. Um, obviously articles on uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, female superheroes in general. Especially talking about Wonder Woman's 75th anniversary. Uh, basically talking about all of the ladies. Obscure female superheroes. That's That'll be a good read. And then the newest, the new wave of female superheroes. All right, and then what's in the box? The four things that are in the box. Now this says Z-Box exclusive for the bombshell. Um, but they show the picture, and it's the regular Wonder Woman. So not sure what's going on there. And then the next box, which is Anarchy. And I already saw that there's supposed to be four exclusive items in that box, and it looks like another four item box. So, before I get into the research that I'm going to do on the comic and the bombshells, uh, I like this box. It was great. had four good items. Uh, three of them I thought were really good. That's the shirt, the pennant, and the little bombshells. Um, now, the little bombshell is going to be different when I look it up and see what's going on with the exclusivity. But the thing I keep coming back to, and the thing that sets this box apart, is it's $23 with free shipping. And if you get multiple months, it's even less. I think it goes down to $19.99 if you get multiple months. That is, for any box, a steal if there's three or four decent items in it. Um, I'm going to research values, too, just because... I focus on value with the Z-Box because the price point is so low. So uh, I'm going to come back, we'll recap, and I'll talk about the real value of the box. All right, kids, it's looking pretty good. Um, if we were only talking about um, three items, you'd already be at value, and there's four items in this box. Yeah, there's not six, you know, uh, boxes, you know, have four to six items and, and go to, towards the six route. 
usually are more um, exciting, more fun. You keep pulling stuff out of the box, and it's great. But value-wise, this is looking pretty good. Um, the pennant, we'll start there. This goes for about nine bucks. So it's about a nine dollar item, ten nine ten dollars. Um, easily found on Entertainment Earth. It's not like it's a rare thing. You can get them online pretty easily. Uh, shirt, as always, I'm going to put it at about twelve fifty. I like to split the difference between the ten dollar low low ball price of a T-shirt and fifteen dollars, which is what uh, you know the box is going to advertise that it's worth. So um, twelve fifty for that. About nine dollars for the pennant. Now, the little bombshells. I love this little bombshells, but as I said in the beginning, there's no freaking way that this is an exclusive to Z-Box, and that's been acknowledged by Z-Box. They actually, there was a little bit of a controversy a couple weeks ago. I totally missed it uh, when I got the box, the fact that this is not an exclusive. So they said it would be an exclusive worth 25 pounds, whatever that is, American, um, and it ends up being more like a regular $10 bombshells, $9 bombshells, which for me is fine, but it's a, it was very misleading, caused a big uh, hoop de doo um, Z-Box did issue an apology saying, hey, we, we were going to put an exclusive bombshells in the box. It didn't happen. We're sorry about that. Now, of course, they didn't say sorry till they were called out on it, um, but... That all that being said, not a great not great optics for the Z box. As far as this bombshells go, this is about a nine dollar item if you want to buy it individually outside of the mystery part. Um, the, this one again, it's the normal Wonder Woman's going for about nine ten dollars. So now, if we're just talking about those first three items I talked about, talking about a twelve fifty t shirt, a nine dollar pennant, and a nine dollar bombshells, you're already at what is that? Uh, twelve fifty plus eighteen. Uh, about $30, and the box is $23, right? So you're already $7 over the value just in those three. So now let's look at the Captain Marvel. This is Mighty Captain Marvel number one with a variant cover. This is the black and white variant version of the Seguinas, I think that's how you pronounce it, Paolo Seguinas cover, which is... The color cover is 1 in 25, so it's it's got a good value right now. It's it's running at about $15, $20 on eBay. Uh, this didn't come back boarded. Obviously, it's not graded. Um, and it's obviously, this one is not going to be 1 of 25. I couldn't find a really good value for it. So I'm just going to list it as the normal, like when a, a variant cover issue comes out, $6, $7. So even, let's just say 6 Let's say really cheap $6. Um, that puts this box at $36 for $23. That's not bad. You're not getting double, but it's actually a pretty good value, even for just having four items in it. Um, I'm going to give this box a B plus, and the reason is because of this kerfuffle. I like this figure. I love this figure. I'm glad I got it. But to say it's exclusive and then have to backtrack... That's not good, so it, it's going to cost them a couple points. Um, but as far as the items go, I really like it. It's, a, it's an easy box to like because they put good stuff in it. It follows the theme. Um, it sets out what it means to do. Z-Box is uh, very much a normal subscription box. It's themed. It has at least four collectibles in it. Um, almost always has a shirt and... Uh, you know, so it sets out what it means to do, um, uh, and especially the price point makes it stand out from the rest. So, B plus box, I like it. I don't know if I'm going to get the Anarchy box next month. I'm going to research a little bit and see what the the uh, properties are that uh, are coming from it. It's supposedly four exclusive items. Um, after this month, who knows? But uh, so decent box. I liked it. Um, I'll use everything that's in it. So let me know what you think about this box. Throw me uh, a comment down there. Uh, Z-Box can get some heat sometimes, especially from their uh, customers overseas. I liked this box, but again, it's simple. It's not a whole lot of items, but it's very inexpensive. So let me know what you think. Throw us a like and uh, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And we will see you next time. Lots going on this week. I'm on vacation. I'm doing a lot of filming, doing a lot of editing. Uh, we'll do some live streams. I'm not doing one today like I thought I would, but that will be coming up probably this weekend. 
um, when I can get a lot of you here uh, watching it. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.